good est of evenings, everyone. Just had my water, had a load of cheese, so I'm full of cheese and water. And we're ready to uh, finish Somnium Files. So uh, I did some jumping around. Yeah, Hitomi blew up. Uh, Saito. Hitomi blew up. Saito. Uh, and then, then I re retraced my steps. Um, so we're at the end of this game. Uh, if you don't know what's going on, now's probably not the good t best time to ask because uh, you've missed literally everything. Uh, I don't know what happened 18 years ago. Okay, so we're back here. Um, so last stream, after last stream, I actually went back to the two Somniums I finished and got the remaining images. So we'll look at those in a sec. Uh, what happened in the last stream was pretty crazy. Uh, once the flow chart decides it wants to load. So we finished sinking in the mountain, which is Hitomi's sink. We found out about I uh, Iris's mother, uh, Monica, what happened to her and all that. We went up here, we were led to the warehouse where the prototype sink machine was, then we were knocked out. This route got locked, so we finally got to go back over here to the route where boss kills So. Uh, we managed to trick and subdue so uh, boss and go in her Somnium. We see that she not only killed So, but apparently witnessed Renju killing uh, Shoko Nodami, as well as witness Iris kill Renju and So Sojima killing Iris. However, afterwards, somehow, Date knew about the prototype sync machine from the other timeline, seemingly because he was regaining his memory of it from knowing about it before the course of this game. However, that doesn't seem to truly be the case. But what was deduced was that Boss wasn't actually Boss. She was Saito Sejima, So Sejima's son, who had jumped bodies through the sink machine many times and essentially committed a series of serial killings by swapping bodies and killing the body that he was in. Doing this to get close to Date, who is now revealed to be inhabiting Saito's original body, and presumably Date himself had number 89's body originally, which Rohan... Kamakura is currently in. The reason Rohan Kamakura's body committed suicide was because Shoko was in it, and she did not take kindly to that, and she freaked out and killed herself. So Shoko Nadami's always been dead. Renju, in the case in the course of this game, has always been dead. He was in Shoko Nadami's body when she was killed at the beginning. Meaning that Mizuki's parents were both always dead, regardless of timeline. Which is very, very depressing. So now we finally unlock this route. We can go back and finish it. Um, yeah, Renju and, uh, Renju and Hitomi discover the corpse of Monica. Date questioned Hitomi. Hitomi confessed everything. Yada yada yada. Here we go. 18 years have passed. Now, knowing that Iris does not have much time left, Hitomi decided to blackmail So, calling him to the cold storage warehouse. And threatening to reveal everything in the press, she received a call from the culprit and was told to come to a certain location with Date. Date and Hitomi arrived at the abandoned factory in the Kapasaki district and found Renju's corpse. Suddenly, they were knocked out. And from what we can tell, Saito is now in 89's body, which is Date's original body. Which means Rohan was in Renju's body and was killed. So we're now in the timeline where the, the Nadam, uh, Shoko Nadami... Renju Okiura and Rohan are all dead. Everyone else is currently alive. And that'll that's what's gonna happen when we jump. Let's just check uh the files I've got first. So I got the other two uh Somnium files I was missing. Which have Iba pile driving a mannequin. And boss's design. And then day eight or day five Hitomi, we have Iba in a tree and designs for her, which haven't seemed to change at all. I like hat Hitomi. Yeah, that one. That's a nice hat. I like that hat. So we have one 
There's still a lot of these left that I haven't gotten yet, but we have one more. Saito and Iris. Date synced with Iris after Renju's body was found in Sunfish Pocket. However, at that time, Saito was or could have been in Iris's body. Why didn't he try to get his, his Date's body back then? If the sync had continued past the six minute time limit, he could have just done that. But remember what Saito and Boss's body said about journeys. A journey only truly ends when you come back home. Saito wasn't done murdering just yet. He didn't want his journey to come to an end. He still had more victims in mind. So yeah, uh, my original theory was that Date was Saito, but apparently not. He was he's Falco, number eighty nine, which means his real voice is uh, DC Douglas. Apparently, I shouldn't have closed the flowchart. I'm on the same timeline, but we've, there's a lot of exposition that happens, so I just want to get right to the juicy stuff. Actually, wait. I don't know if I actually got to that point. Hold on. We'll, we'll start from here, just so we could kind of recap what just happened. Uh, Pewter is apparently acting against us in this timeline, either due to his own volition or orders from the top. I can't remember. This is the timeline where he helped him... Wait, is this the timeline where he helped Renju escape? I'm not entirely sure. Is that... Renju? So that's Saito. And Renju's body was actually... Ro has Rohan in it. Had Rohan in it. He's dead now. And that's where we currently are. Every other timeline has seen its conclusion. Apparently, the whole concept of the timelines in this game is real. Originally, I thought, no, they're not going to pull a zero escape. But uh, apparently they do, because uh, in the other timeline... Which actually ends with Saito getting his body back, and then Date's in Boss's body, and he collapses. And that's just how that timeline ends. Um, in that timeline, he actually remembers the stuff from this timeline, including Iris talking about parallel universes. So, I guess it does exist? Does this take place in the Zero Escape timeline, maybe? No? Who knows? All I know is we got one more Somnium to go. Damn it! I don't think you can release yourself. Well, do something about it. What is it you expect me to do? Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me! I cannot. Why not? My body has short-circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. Gah. But fortunately, Convenient. my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. They ignored you? There must be pressure from the higher-ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sejima's interference. Thinks in investigating Monica's case. That is not the only reason. So Sejima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Renju's body on the ground, without his left eye. But it's Rohan. Actually, if they switch bodies now, they just go back to their originals. I don't see why Date wouldn't want that. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now, you used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. But what interests me more is you. 
How do you know you can use the sink machine to exchange minds? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. But how? How do I know that? Why do I know that? Why do I know about Saito? The prototype machine? Changing personalities? The current. Did it unlock your memories? Uh, hold on one sec. I need to get my phone right here. Just need to make sure that uh, everything's running smoothly here. I kind of didn't check. <laughs> Okay, I thought my, thought my, uh, mic wasn't working for a second there. That would have been very, very bad. Then tell me, this body was originally... Mine. Mine. That means your body... This is your body, isn't it, Saito? But how did Date know, uh, how did Sosajima know that Date was in this body? Words came out so easily. I don't know why. But in a moment of harsh realization, I knew. Number 89's body is mine, and my body is Saito's. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. I mean, I don't see why not, honestly. Hey, how about a little help here? What are you doing? This guy isn't much help. Can't do anything like this. Wait. How do I know that's a manual? It's probably the prototype sync manual. You. I don't believe it. Don't mind me just looking everywhere for clues before I confront you. Iris and Hitomi. Don't worry, I haven't killed them. Yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Such beautiful eyes. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now. All right, talking it is. What should I say? I'm confused, though. What about Iris in the other timeline? Where she dies and has the hemorrhage. Um... Was that her in that body at that point? Yeah, it was, because they that was the same 89 escaping plot. Do you have any questions for me? It's early Wednesday morning. Shoko was killed last Friday. That was day one, which makes today day six. For five days, what was Saito up to? Oh right, things will be different here because uh he didn't kill anyone aside from Shoko. I decided to ask him what he did every day up till now. Friday. Saito explained what he did on Friday. At 4 a.m., Saito began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to this abandoned factory and switched bodies with him. I mean, that would be the plan against Renju. 
After taking Renju's body, Saito killed Shoko, then brought the body to Bloom Park. He already killed Shoko a while ago, but as he explained it to me, I somehow felt I already knew that. I didn't understand why. I felt like it was being etched into my brain. Why was Shoko's rental phone in the horse? Answer me? Oh, right. I put that there. And? When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. So I left it for you to find, asshole. So, I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. The merry-go-round horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. Saturday. I was still in Renju's body. My next target was Iris. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. But your plan I didn't work. Called her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscate. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... Date, do you remember? Saturday evening after syncing with Mizuki, inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. The time was 4.52 p.m., right before Renju called Iris. You told her. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Iris didn't accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. If you did not warn her... She would have been taken here. I decided to pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However... You got in an accident around 6.10 p.m. and lost consciousness. Oh, so that wasn't intentional. <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined, but my ultimate goal is still achievable. So it's all good. Sunday. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented a car, and headed to Iris's house. I know what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. You got Iris to come with you, but when you tried to bring her here... Didn't work out, huh? I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Oh, you know that too? But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. Man, you're really sloppy in this the timeline, huh? Those were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled, and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. Monday. By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. Pewter. The man you called Pewter. I knew the story after that. The 
boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? So number 89, who was Rohan, was called there. And then... Renju, with Saito's mind in it, got away with him. And Pewter let it happen because he loves Renju, who's already dead, unfortunately. So Pewter came up with a plan to help number 89 escape. Rohan, as number 89, got into the car with Saito as Renju and fled from the police. Why did you want number 89 to escape? When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you while you're in this body. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. I mean, aside from That's the killing why part. I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. I wanted this body at all costs. Also, I would also he would have friggin died in the other body. So what happened after you escaped with number 89 in the car? I brought Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings 6 years ago. So 89 Falco wasn't actually the Cy Cyclops killer. It was Saito and Rohan. So naturally we had a lot to talk about, but I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result, this happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. No, but Renju didn't die of natural causes. Renju was Shoko. About the shooting on Monday. Just mercenaries I hired. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive, but I had access to Renju's bank account. I paid them with his money. Well, it's no one's money now. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. But after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. But they had already been paid good money, so... I decided to leave the arrangements as they were. And then... Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own, without consulting me. Because he loves you. Or loves Renju. Tuesday. I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m., I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. Oh, that's why Date remembers Iris. Because he was he was Falco, so he used to be Iris's like father figure. I told her where to meet, and she agreed right away. Shit, man. It was all according to plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. I've been looking for him for six years. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. So the person she trusts most is you date you date number 89's current body was originally yours after iris got into the car i put her to sleep i restrained her and called her tomi i have your daughter don't call the police or she dies but why did they I switch bodies in the Iris first place? To reel in Hitomi. And you. Thanks for being so cooperative. But you did drag your feet. I was getting tired of waiting. How about Monica's murder 18 years ago? 
I was only 12, but I remember it vividly. You have awoken. Good evening, Satine. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. Let's not kid ourselves, it's morning now. Yeah, it's 12.57. It's not morning on the West Coast yet. Why? Why did he do it? Saito is not in his original body. My body is Saito's body. That's my, that's Date's body right there. Why did you kill Monica? I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. The only way I could feel anything. He's... He's Sakio from Yu Hakusho. He just kills animals for fun. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me. And she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. In front I of my own father. I was born with a brain disorder. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were... complicated. His motives are very complex. Sometimes, I think, if I didn't kill Monica... Would things be different? I would be a famous voice actor who would be in Resident Evil. Maybe the murders six years ago never would have happened. Me, you, Rohan. Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. Yes, that is DC Douglas. Albert Wesker, uh, Yoshikage Kira. That character from Zero Escape that I can't say the name out loud because it's a major spoiler. And maybe Shoko Nodami never would have gotten killed. Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. Politely Sorry, listen to the rest of the story. I don't have anything else to say to you. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. It's yours, though. So, shall we get started? Give me my body back. I mean, we still don't know why they swapped in the first place. What a strange fake eye. Oh well. So we know why Saito's left eye is missing right now. Because he needed to take it out to use the sink machine originally. Oh, he just... How? First off, how did he do that so easily? Second of all, how is he not screaming in pain from that? Alright, it's ready. Also, good job, asshole. You just made a hole for Iba to go into when Date's back in that body. So how is this going to work? Also, Iba's not there anymore.
This is the sink room. That was. Damn it, why can't I wake up? This doesn't look like footage from a surveillance camera. It's a man's duty to fill that hole. Calm enough, you think. Mental lock one. Oh, it's backwards because I'm being synced into. How's this gonna work, though? I'm not supposed to solve the sink. I'm supposed to stop it. Sinking in the chain. Search Kaname Date. Date Kaname. Abyss Special Agent. Verify identity. What? Concealed. Oh, yeah. See, Date's not doing anything. Saito's the one doing all the unlocking. This is a neat twist. I like this. Am I being synced? I don't have any control over this. Now I do. Concealed. No time limit. Sink room. It's all like fucked up. There's no retry button. Touch, erase, hit, check. Damn, what is going on here? There's a knife there now. What? Damn it, what is this? What if the video games played you? Rohan Incredible. I love I'm loving this. Me? What was he doing?
Pull off, press down, investigate, fix. Try fixing it. Whoa. Again. Right, so this was the initial sink, the one that put Rohan in number 89, and Saito in Rohan. Door? What is this? This wasn't here before. Yep. This is getting fucked. Good news, your roommate bought fast food for us. Bad news, it's Chick-fil-A. I've never actually had Chick-fil-A. I don't know how good their food is, but man, let me tell you. When I was in, um, Dallas, I had Chicken Express again, finally, for like the first time in seven years, and I also tried Raising Cane's. Both are amazing, and they don't fund, uh, homophobic, uh, you know, organizations, so... You're familiar with Raising Cane's, but never had them. I would say they they and Chicken Express have, like, very similar quality food. I like Chicken Express's sauce a little more. They have more of, like, a sweet gravy, whereas Cane's uses cane sauce, which is, like, ketchup and mayonnaise. Oh, this music is getting good. Saw that there. Actually, wait. Might as well see it. Day six, Saito B. I button the sink machine. Oh, that's cute. Fucked up sink room. So, what's this last one? Pick up picture, scoop up blood, investigate stick hand in. Pick up the picture. <sighs> the picture! Blood. Stick hand in. Damn. Them. <laughs> this is like legit terrifying. Ketchup and mayonnaise is just pink sauce or something Hein chose to call mayo chup, which means shit face in the Cree language. I'm aware of mayo chup. I'm also aware of uh, mayo starred, which I love. I love mayonnaise and mustard mixed together. Hit. Damn, nothing. 
You're... I touched him, but nothing happened. You're... There's that zero escape noise again. I just can't do it. I can't do it! I can't shoot! Oh no, the eggs! They're swapping. Pewter's making an omelette. Which directional branch is this? Uh, this is the far right of the timeline. This is the last timeline. Sink, 60 seconds. No choice. Percent sink? Oh shit, we're sink percenting. This is a speed run now. What do I do? Oh, this really is a dream, huh? He's moving. He's he's doing everything he can, but his limbs aren't moving. Shit! Only option left. What is this? time now love is over heart swap Oh god, that's even weirder watching that like come out. <sighs> Date A acquired. Didn't need to do anything. Day six, Wednesday, Hakai. That means destruction. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Oh, this feeling. I'm back. I got it all back.
This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Ah, oh, you dumbass. I think I'll keep it. Oh, right, and the machine injects a stimulant into the sinker and a sedative into the sinky, so... This prototype machine has a special function. Or actually, it's the other way around, technically. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. Why? Why did they design it like that? You will be feeling it soon. <sighs> oh, but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die, and then you will follow in their footsteps. You should be honored. My body won't move. My vision is getting hazy. My consciousness was melting away, clarity fading. I don't know what happened. I could only watch it as it unfolded in front of me. The scene that played before my eyes left me dumbfounded. It was a fragment of my memory, lost all those years ago. A piece of my past buried deep in my subconscious. Remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about Aset? Aset? That's right. I thought of that name. This is when I taught Iris about her name. Greek and Egyptian mythology, too. Aset. It's pretty! I love it! You see that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris. Just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess. And the goddess of rainbows, too. That's right. That's why the iris means good news and hope. Good news. Hey, Uncle. You met Mommy at this shrine, right? It's all coming together. When am I going to hear good news from you two? What? When will Uncle be my dad? Look, kid, about that. We've got a, a, a state congressman that uh, might be interested in that, but uh, probably not. The Okonomiyaki War. Iris drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe even every day. Your hands are very pretty, by the way. Can I just, uh, you know, cut them off and maybe cuddle it for a weekend? Oh, you. Every day? Hitomi, do you want to live together, the three of us? Uh, 
are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically... Why is Date such a pervert then in his normal body? What if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. And that went dead? Uh. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. We've just seen Falco's backstory now. Thank or Date. You. I guess Kaname Date is his real name and Falco's his code name? I don't know. Well then, my answer is yes. But that didn't happen, did it? <laughs> so, you want to go clean? Okay, before we do anything, before we go any further here, Oh, album complete. Nice. Guess all the actual gameplay is done. Iba's designs, her early design. Oh, she looked like a little, like, hamster originally. That's cute. Not really big on that form, but... Album completed. Wow. Wow. Still got a question mark here, though. Odd. Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? This is... Now I understand. I understand why Rohan Kumakura wanted these two dead. So Sejima asked Rohan to take Monica's corpse deep into the mountains where no one would find it. Rohan found out that Hitomi knew about it. He also found out that Monica had given birth to a child. If the media got a hold of it, Congressman Sejima would be ruined. And that information would no doubt lead to discovering Monica's murder, so Saito would be arrested immediately. And that investigation would lead straight to Rohan. But Rohan never told so about Hitomi and Iris. I don't know why not. Maybe he decided it wasn't important enough to mention. He played it close to his chest, need to know basis only. That way there'd be no loose ends. That's why Rohan hired the assassin Falco, meaning me, to kill Hitomi and Iris. Got AT&T and they've been being pissy the last two weeks, having service work done it. and net outages I'll lasting around 20 right minutes. Away. That used to happen to me with Comcast. Every night it would just go out, and the, or the speed would drop to like pathetic levels, and it was terrible, and I hated it. We also didn't have cable during that time. It was it was really bad. When we switched to Verizon, we managed to get everything back. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. Of course, I couldn't go through with it. But if I didn't kill them, someone else would. I was sure of it. I needed a plan. How could I get out of the organization and keep them safe? But I couldn't think of anything. I didn't know what to do. I needed advice. From an old friend. Computer? Nope, oh, boss. I see. I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, alright? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. The truth is, boss and I were both in the same rookie class of police recruits in our 20s. We've been close ever since. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. 
You're, you're in it right now. Boss explained Abyss and sinking to me. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does have another function. You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. <laughs> then you can send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I heard about that. That happened earlier today. Uh, Reggie Fizeme has joined uh, GameStop's board of directors with the uh, person that owns PetSmart and the current CEO of Walmart or Walgreens. I can't remember. It was like it was like a pet store and one other uh, major service. They've all been appointed to the uh, GameStop board of directors. That store has not been doing well. Uh, so I'm interested to see what this uh, change in management is going to do for the company. As it's not going to affect consumers much. I think it's just going to affect the overall like long-term plans of the store. I don't see the store going out of business, but I do think it's in need of like an overhaul because sales there are getting really bad and employees are getting super pushy with uh, pre-orders when you're there, and it's very, very uncomfortable. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? She made a good point. And I had no reservations about giving up my body. My body had soaked in so much blood over the years. I was almost glad to be rid of it. But I did have a single regret. With my body swished, I couldn't show myself to Hitomi or Iris. I would never be able to see them again. But I didn't care. As long as they were safe. Alright. Leave everything to me, Hayato Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu? That was my real name. I guess that's the final character. Boss, how did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that... Okay? Ah, uh, but I did it anyway. Yeah, it'll be fine, because he's about to switch bodies. But when did- why did Rohan switch with Saito? Or why did Dot- uh, Kagyu Rohan switch with Saito? <sighs> Alright, Rohan has been put to sleep. He will not be waking up for a while. Remember, to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know. I understand. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes. Right. We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three, two, one. <laughs> Didn't we see this in Asomnium, but who's? I mean, this is Rohan Somnium, so...
you're... It's... me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean... I'm Hayato Yagyu. The switch worked. I'm big now. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killers, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. Boss and Pewter explained. I, 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 this is stupid. There wasn't just one Cyclops serial killer. There were two. One was Rohan and the other was Saito Sejima. The sink revealed everything. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. Huh? What? Pewter, where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. Where did Rohan go? Huh? Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan. Yagyu, where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. Are they serious? Did oh my god. Did I do something wrong? I mean, you technically didn't. They didn't tell you not to do that. No, don't tell me. I shot out of the room like a bullet. I had a bad feeling. An awful, terrible feeling down to the bones. I knew where he was headed. I ran out to the parking lot, got in the car, and floored it. Ding dong. Oh, this is oh, why. Hello. What are you doing here at this hour? Such beautiful eyes. Oh, stop. You're always flattering me. Anyway, um, come on in. So this is what caused Hitomi's injury. I'll make us some tea. And that scene from the Somnium. So he, so Date himself caused the injury. Oh, that's fucking terrible. Stop right there. And that's why Boss was there. And this is how 89 went to prison. still doesn't explain why Rohan's body why, why Date sw whatever Hitomi had endured a long complicated surgery but she survived I don't even know what voice to give this, this thought process at this point but it came at a price she was left with a permanent injury she lost all use of her right hand Thanks to the bullet I fired from my own gun. Also, wait, why did I switch voices? Because Date's still in his original body, so he should still have the DC Douglas voice. I said nothing. I got up and left the hospital room. And I left all my memories with her. That night, I visited the Kumakura building and called them all together. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If 
any of you lay a single finger on them. You don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir! I love this huge exposition dump we're getting, like, right before the end of the most crucial point of the game. I went to So's mansion. By boss's request. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops' murders. As long as you're like that, I think I'll be more open with you. So I went to the Sejima residence. When I got there, I said, I want to meet Saito into the intercom. After a while, the gate opened and Saito himself welcomed me. What is it you want to talk about? Saito and Rohan. How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Oh wait, I'm actually talking as him now, so... Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica, and my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. About the next target! Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. A name you decided. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. You're the one who came up with it. Why do the victims have their right eyes taken out? That was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye. Which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. Uh, how, how am I supposed to know that? Wouldn't I know that by, like, being in this body? Bring him in. Hey, Saito. Could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps the police station? Suddenly, bodyguards rushed out from inside the mansion. They surrounded me before I could react. What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. So it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. I see. You got into that body with a sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. I want to see it for myself. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba, you there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. Hmm. <laughs> A 
few days later. Well, it looks like preparations are complete. Let's say you and I get started. Fucking God. No qualms about doing that to himself. Alright, let's go. So it wasn't even Date's idea to do this. He just immediately escapes. What are you doing? Follow him! Yeah, I don't... It, it, I'm still confused why Saito did that. It, it, this is his own fault. <sighs> My memories after that were lost in a violent haze. I was forcibly disconnected during... <laughs> I was forcibly disconnected during the sink. Saito's mind overwhelmed me. Only my consciousness was sent over. My memories were left behind in my original brain. I thought I might have some of Saito's memories to cling to, but I never picked them up. Maybe because they weren't mine to hold. It felt like reality itself was disappearing. Okay, so that answers that question. I was confused and lost, like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I could barely feel my feet beneath me walking under the city lights. When I regained my faculties, I found that I was in Golden Yokocho. My wandering with no destination in mind was interrupted by a woman. You're Saito Sejima? Hmm, I guess not. Huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so we lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? Just as I thought. You've lost your memory. All right. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. <coughs> That's what you'll call me. Come with me to where you belong. And Reju Okura was fine being friends with me? Like, knowing that I, I was in Saito's body? register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? How did she? Okay, a lot, a lot of like anime, like oh, I know who you are. Go You've stuff going on here. The exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine. Trust me, it won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one. Never mind. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. I mean, I guess that answers everything, but why Why did Rohan, or why did Saito go into Rohan's body? One year later, I was called into the control room. Pewter had something to show me. The official title is AI-Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion.
How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Dick. That was my dick for a while. Saito. What was Falco's real name? You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine, a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll, departments would fold, there would be shameful suicides. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist, and Falco the anonymous assassin was sent to prison, where he was known as Number 89. Fitting for a man with no name. Makes sense. What happened after we exchanged minds? What are you doing? Follow him! After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. No! Stop! It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time, for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. Hmm. About Rohan after the personality exchange. Stop right there. Six years ago, Rohan, in Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title Assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Consider yourself lucky. Time to counterattack this motherfucker. Saito is off guard. I might be able to make a move. I tried to sweep Saito's feet, but then. Oh, he's got my gun. You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. 
It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. No, wait! Moma, really? Where's Mizuki? Damn. Oh shit, I bet she's in the other room. So are Oda and Iris, or at least Oda, probably. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Dante? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Aiba told me about it. It was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Aiba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but... Bastard got me. Take this! Do it! Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please, save them. I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun, following after Saito. Back here again. Remember the spot from last night? Tape looks really fake on that model. Date, do you like fireworks? I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As it damn it, I can't get any I can't get any help from Iba. Oops, didn't mean to, uh, do that with both of those lines. Hold on. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it. I can't get into my sights. And I can't get any help from Iba. Blooming. Scattering in the moment. And it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think so? Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's not a shotgun. It's oh, I guess not. It's a rifle. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect. Beautiful art. A lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it! What do I do? What do I do? Toria! Nice. Mizuki! You... Bastard! What do you think you're doing to Iris? Tessa! I'm here to help! Look, it's incidental character number one. Wait, Mizuki! <gasps> you shot a 12 year old, you fuck! Good news, it might not be fatal. I don't think it's fatal, but that's still fucked. Lord. <laughs> you knocked him clean over those crates.
I'm surprised Iba just didn't pop out of his head when he did that. Did you find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? This looks like a machine of some kind. Column. It's raining hard out there. Pipes spreading throughout. I heard footsteps earlier. Like someone going up the stairs. To the top floor. Saito took a blow and landed on the other side of the container. When I climbed up to look, I couldn't see him anywhere. He's not behind there. Can't see Saito. Where the hell is he? Where is Saito? I have to find him! Damn it! Hitomi's life is in danger. I gotta find Saito now! Where are you? Where are you? It's just repeating. I think the problem there is that you would have, a sub have to have a subsequent shot showing where how Iba landed, detracting from your moment of retribution. Yeah, true. A ladder. That's... Dante! Hitomi? Hitomi! I sprinted as fast as I could, rushing up the stairs step after step until they blurred together. When I reached the top floor, a sight I will never forget greeted my eye. more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? <laughs> oh, am I wrong? <sighs> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Fine. Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Date! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Date. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Dante. You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Dante? What will you do? Hold the trigger? Oh, fuck. Saito is pushing the Evolver's muzzle against Hitomi's temple. out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? Huh? You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Date, look! It's that girl I told you about! Aiba. Aiba. Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned before, I cannot escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric shock either. However, there is another option. Huh? She can explode. Self-destruct. 
Remember, Iba could just come back if she does that. There's no danger. Let us determine a code number. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? No, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Oh, if this is gonna be something stupid like I hate porn, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Is your data stored in the cloud? Oh, fuck. I'm speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Correct. I will be destroyed as well. Ten. Nine. Say it, Tate. Six. Five. Tate, command! Two. One. <laughs> you are even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? No. Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. Fuck. Command four one two zero five. Okay, Tate. I, I. Mm. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. Oh my god! Was not expecting his head to just to completely explode, but... Cool. Yeah, these people clearly watched scanners before this game was... Oh my god. Oh. That was heavy. Has Iba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No. Don't thank me. Thank my partner. By the way, my eye socket's bleeding out, so we Mr. might Falco. want to, uh... It is you, Falco. Right? Mm. 
You shouldn't call me that. I am Kanabe Date, MPD, Special Investigation Team. <coughs> Sinker. What if they made a sequel, and then at the end of the sequel, he gets another new body? And then just every game that comes out, Kaname Date is just another person? And it eventually ends with him becoming like a big titty werewolf or something. Three months later, Kasai. Kume Shrine. Three months later. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. The offering box. You know, if we had some fishing line and gum. I never thought you'd be an offering box thief. No, no, you've got it all wrong. So I'm guessing Mizuki doesn't have any parents, so she must live with Iris now too. I swallowed a goldfish. I'm trying to get it out by swallowing some fishing line. Are you sure your brain is fully recovered? Oh, she got the operation. A rope hanging from the bell. Shinto shrine. Looks rather solemn. Sacred straw rope. You've been looking at that rope for a while. Why is that? Hmm? No reason. I don't particularly like ropes or anything. Being tied up in ropes, though. <laughs> These statues are supposed to be inspired by sphinxes from Egypt that went to India, then China, then all the way to Japan. Really? I didn't know that. Chozuya. Oh man, Uncle, have you heard this story? A long time ago when I came to the shrine with Mizuki, she started washing out her belly button in the Chozuya. Someone told her that's what you do. Huh, is that right? Uh, I did that. <laughs> you wash your hands and face here. A lantern. Praying Mantis! What are you doing? Praying Mantis Fist! Mizuki taught me. Not sure what that has to do with anything. Should she really be doing that? A tree. Mizuki nut. What? Huh. <laughs> I looked around, but no one was there. Is something wrong? No, I just felt like I heard someone talking. What? Apparently, they come from Egypt. A stone monument. There's something engraved here, but I can't read it. Do you know what it says? When listening to music on your smartphone with wireless earphones, you must be sure it is properly synced with your device. And that's what it says. That is absolutely not what it says. The winter irises are blooming. It's been three months, and they still have not withered. Hmm. Iris is sitting next to me. Why did you want to come here? Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. as to why Saito went into Rohan's body. By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. What question? When am I gonna hear good 
news from you two. When will Uncle be my dad? I turned away without answering. I stared out into the distance and something caught my eye. Winter iris is in full bloom. How are you, by the way? As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop, kangaroo goes hop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Yeah, the nano machines went pew pew and bzz, bzz, and got rid of all the tumors. You're an adult. At least that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? That's not exactly true. Boss didn't pay out of her pocket. It was a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original new Cyclops serial killings now. Not just her. Hitomi, Mizuki, Ota, Moma. They all know. I reps were willing to do anything to keep it from getting out. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris's treatment. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality in a dream somewhere. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Do you like my new body? The way you are now is more familiar for me anyway, so my old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? Exactly. So I'm really that ugly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's a rugged kind of handsome. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. Yesterday, I was discharged from the hospital. Iris said she wanted to see everyone who visited her. But she's a little embarrassed to go by herself, so I, prom I, pl 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 I, so I promised I'd take her. Sorry, it was the brain tumor talking. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet, so let's go! Oh, uh, we actually have to go everywhere, don't we? We get to visit Mama. We haven't seen her in a long time. Dante, honey, who is this? When did you start the stream? Uh, about an hour and 45 minutes ago. Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. A virgin? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, sweetie. You look like you don't know a lot of men. <laughs> and what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey, because I associate with fairies, and I'm an older, motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. <laughs> you. You're so's bodyguard. Uh, who are you? Oh, right. He wouldn't recognize this face. Don't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig a long time ago. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. I punched him in the face and I quit. Ha! You're drunk, aren't you? You're drunk, aren't you? I'm not drunk. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding it. Mama! Tits! Whoops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. If he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. No. Oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay. <laughs> Hold on, that's... There's a poster on the wall. When you're in love with a married man. I wonder what that is. Oh, 
circle that word on the chalkboard? Ooh, nice. You're going to a drag show? That's cool. Salsicha? What is that? It's what Italians say when they find a seat for their friend Sal. It's sausage. Iris, let me introduce you to Mama's little brother. Oh, that's the fridge! It's the last time we're going to these locations. Might as well enjoy it. About your headband. Hey, Iris, I've been wondering. Oh, you're not going? What's with your headband? Oh, this? It kept my brain tumor from spreading. Wait, really? I don't really need it anymore, but I feel naked without it, you know? Really? Okay. I guess that's that's a that's a thing that exists. Date, honey, do you still ever drink so much beer that you start uh leaking? Leaking beer? No, that has never happened, ever. I'm pretty sure it has. Izuki was telling me. That was the old me, not anymore. I've got some fun insertion videos I think you'd like, Date. What's she talking about? A medical training video for getting temperatures, you know? Oh. Is polishing the dried bonito. She'll never stop. What are you doing with that bonito? This? It's not bonito. Then what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? Am I? <laughs> How are you, anyway? As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. How could I see that? You want to? I do! I want to see! Iris, no! Do you even know what she's referring to? Huh? About things the past three months. I can't say much. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that, but... Saito Sejima and his body are both gone forever. The body I was in for the past six years. But the head office would never admit that publicly. Because at the time, the body was thought to be that of Detective Kaname Date. To be clear, I'd like to go, but the logistics prevent it. Oh, okay. So teachers are basically encased wieners, frankfurters. So they tweaked things a little bit and pinned everything on number 89. Said that he committed suicide at the old factory. Only Kaname Date managed to survive. That's how they wrote it, but that's not the truth. Mama, the truth is... Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. The Date's face, for one thing. Looking exactly like number 89. They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that by chance. I'm afraid it's been... Nine years. I can still feel my face. That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. Leave. We should head out. Yeah. Oh, leaving so soon? Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information for me. Oh, enough work. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. I would. Sure, Mama. See you soon. Like, good time to check the files. 
Falco. Name, Hayato Yagyu. Sex male, age 42. Damn, way older than I thought. Way older than, uh, Saito's body. Birthday, August 3rd. Profession, police officer and assassin. Likes a special elementary school teacher and her daughter. Dislikes zombies, haunted houses, evil crimes. Hobbies, camping, barbecue, okonoyan, okon okonomiyaki. There we go. Skills, assassination. Kaname Date's true identity, also known as Falco or number 89. He was working as a police officer by day and assassin by night until six years ago. Done and done. The mystery of the prototype sink machine. Six years ago, a prototype version of the sink machine was stolen. Boss knew that Saito was the one who stole it, but without knowing where it was taken, she could not retrieve it. Falco and Saito's body lost his memory and Saito's and Rohan's body was crippled. Sosajima was not even aware of the machine's existence. During this time, MPD received reliable intel that the machine had been scrapped and the parts had been sold overseas on the black market. This report, of course, was false, but the MPD, perhaps being bribed, decided not to pursue the issue any further. It was eventually rediscovered in the abandoned chemical plant. Investigation expenditures. An investigation's budget is normally supposed to be closely regulated and well documented. However, sometimes an expenditure can be submitted without describing what it's being used for, ex or exactly what it is. This is typically used for bribes or anything meant to be untraceable. The boss must have dirt on someone at HQ because she uses this tactic frequently. Oh look, it's like curling over here. I still want to, uh, I want to go back and do like the stuff I missed, but I guess there's really no point. We could just do that. I could just do that off stream. It's probably just a bad ending if I try shooting. you something. God exists. When Tessa was in the hospital, I prayed to this shrine every day. And guess what? My prayers worked. God must have been listening. Are you crying? No, dumbass. I don't cry. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Thank you, God. Thank you for saving Tessa. <laughs> Anyway, what are you doing here? Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa! You didn't have to come see me. I really wanted to see you. Oh, well, well in that case, yes, of course. Uh, I, I am here. About MoMA. Mr. Kumakura? I think he's really nice. Of course I am. About that ring. I won't give it to you. Number B. Your clothes. Oops, excuse me. Are you wearing the right size? Shut up! None of your business! Lost a lot of weight, okay? You look like you're dying. I'm not! You really should see a doctor. Oh, Tessa. Believe it or not, I am a doctor. Seriously? Yeah, he doesn't look like it, but he, he really is a doctor. They come to me when they don't want to go to a real hospital. So... Yeah, he's our mob doctor. What's your name? Why would I tell you? I want to know too. I'll tell you. My name is Yogano. He lost all that weight because of a girl. Boss? Yeah, some nurse at Central. Nasu, I think. Yogano? He has a medical license? A window. A dragon Uncle, holding a golden bar. Let's make our day exciting until the end, okay? We wouldn't want to get too tangled up together. You're right, we wouldn't. Wait a minute. Date? No, Date. Hey, Iris. 
about these lanterns. Yeah? Is there anything a candle reminds you of? Is it a dick? You're ruining everything. Lanterns with Kuma Kura written on them. I wonder if the A-set figure is still in the safe. Fat one. All right. Do I look all right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard you got plastic surgery. You look better than before. It suits you. I'm not sure how to take that compliment. The door to the next room. Chairman's desk. PC on the desk. Telephone on the desk. Coffee table, ashtray. Ooh. That's a real big contact lens. That's an ashtray. So far. Check me out, dude. Hang ten, dudes. That's a surfer. Last month's schedule's written on the board. Third, A set live solo performance. Opening your jacket is su sitting on a public train. Make sure that it doesn't accidentally touch the person next to you. How very specific. Desk probably belongs to one of the people here. There are a ton of things on top. Uncle, do they have chocolate and pastries over there? You're thinking of a patisserie. Chairman's chair. About Rohan. Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. Piece I know of shit. he was a murderer. A real piece of shit. Hey, exactly what I said. Brothers. I can't be mad at him no matter how much he deserves it. But I can't just forgive him either, you know? So I figure, fuck it. It's better to just forget about him. Hey, not, not a terrible mindset to have. How's your injury? Injury? You got shot three months ago. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. I'm all good now. Wedding. Wedding. Dress. Bless. Tessa. Imaging. Compress. Process, Tessa! Crime. Redress, transgress, Tessa! The net idol superstar! Tessa! They said you bet! Wow! That's really cool! What did you do to these guys? Just a little propaganda. Sun up to sundown. I made them watch your videos, Tessa. They got addicted! T -t -t Tessa! I'm so honored to meet you. Is it okay if I shake your hand? You bastard! What makes you think you're good enough to touch her head? It's fine, it's just a handshake. Yes! The fat one ran up to her with a look of awe in his eyes. Slowly took her hand. So soft. He shouted out in joy. What? He fainted. Too much excitement, I guess. Jeez, Tessa's a force to be reckoned with. Leave. Anyway, sorry to bother you, Moba. Dante, wait! Before you go, I have one favor to ask. Can oh ask? boy, here it comes. This is hard for me to get out, but... Uh... Yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties, right? <gasps> Panties? I never asked for something like that. You did. Then what do you want? Puff puff. Uh, I'm sorry? I want Tessa to puff puff me. You know what I'm saying? Just shove my face in there. Just... Are you kidding me? Look, I don't have a copy of 
of, uh, of DQ11 on hand. I can't do that. You know what? Fine. I'll ask. Dante! You're a real friend. All right. Close your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Like this? Good, yeah. Stay still. Do not open your eyes, okay? Promise! You ready? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh! Dante! I've never felt so alive! All these shitty years of my life have been worth it! But this moment... A good subversion of that, of that trope. Boss? Let's go. I don't know what's going on, but okay. This is amazing! I am living! Tessa, your surgery went well, didn't it? Ota told me all about it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Is that oh, Hitomi? Who is this? No. Oh, um... I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? Thank you for taking care of my boy. Hey, that's my big sister. Apparently, that's her sister. Hey, do you know what they say about bees? If you imitate a cat to a lucky cat statue, it'll grant you happiness. Is that right? Yep, no doubt about it. It worked for me. <laughs> Whoa, Uncle, this is serious. It's... it's... Have you run out of things to comment on? <laughs> Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Homemade soy sauce, huh? Why didn't you voice that? Kazuaki's rib roast with soy sauce. Kuroda Kazuaki? No, that says cold teriyaki. That's an autograph from Young Kichi Cinema. Okay, seriously, who is that? Actually, it does say cold teriyaki. Guess we've been reading it wrong the whole time. A calendar. We can get some really fatty steaks out of that. That's cow render. It's just a really big watch for my husband. Kidding. <laughs> His arm is normal size. The gears have stopped turning, not unlike Mayumi. This timeline, buddy. You're you're the nurse from Central Hospital. 
Well, yes. Have we met? That's right. My face is different than what was last we met. Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. You seem pretty happy. I belong to the Association of Nurse Actresses. <coughs> I got a call from my director this morning. They're giving me more lines. I used to have a bit part during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end, too. Wait, what? I'm really happy about that. That's wonderful, sweetie. What's your name? Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. Yogano? Wait a minute. You're getting married? Yes. Wait, isn't that the guy at the... Oh, God, that's the guy at the Kubakuras. That is so wonderful. She's marrying the skinny dude. Thank you. Don't tell me. Seriously? A nurse from Central Hospital. Mayumi has a happy smile on her face. About the diner. It's doing great thanks to you. <coughs> The lunch rush is always crazy. But you just met me. How are you saying it's doing great thanks to me? My husband and I are working hard. We never get any time to rest. She's lying, of course. Mayumi suffers from a brain dysfunction. I learned about it just before the incident three months ago. Matsushita Diner was actually closed up and her husband had already passed away. Unfortunately, it turned out that even the most advanced medical technology couldn't cure her dementia. But her medicine helps her manage the symptoms. It's a little odd, but it brings Mayumi happiness. To her, her husband is still alive, and her diner is still in business. I don't know if she remembers me. I look different than I did three months ago. She did ask me who I was, after all. But even if I were in my old body, she might still have asked the same thing. But she does remember Iris. Is that because she's Oda's friend? About Oda. Oda? That boy is a handful of trouble, I tell you. That's not true. Yeah, that's right. Oda can be really heroic and brave when the time calls for it. Of course, 99% of life is not when the time calls for it. Oh, you're praising my boy. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. About Iris. I visited her in the hospital. Oda brought me. Yeah, I remember. I was so charmed by her. No, oh, stop. You're making me blush. I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. But now I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. Time to go. Well, let's get going. Yeah. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. Sunfish pocket. I am seriously so happy for you, Tessa. It's thanks to you, Oda. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. I didn't do much. I just risked my life to save you. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, saving your life. Oda, shut up. I see Oda is still Oda. Eel sucking game, 5,280 yen. What is that? The sea king and a mermaid start eating the eel from both ends. When you finish eating, your lips touch. It's a meal for perverts, basically. So far, no one's ever been able to do it. What? A rocking chair? Nope. The correct answer is a love seat. With me and Tessa in it. Bad. What? Will you marry me? 
no. Looks like a lifesaver, right? But it's actually a particle accelerator coated in white chocolate. Is that true? Maybe. Wait, that looks like a jellyfish. Store signboard says Sunfish Pocket. A customer. Wasn't this guy here three months ago, too? Must not have much to do, huh? Why does everyone look alike? They're all the old brothers or something? Customers who look like brothers are sitting there. Those mermaids are luring in the customers, then hitting them right in the wallet. Men here are likely to see Davy Jones soon. Which is the girls Which on display. Which girl do you like, Uncle? I don't judge on appearances. It's what's here that matters. I placed my palm to my chest. Aww. The tits! No, wrong. Uh, you know what? No, Oda's probably right, Date. I hate to say that, but you, you haven't changed just because you have a different body. Pictures of girls on display. Entrance table. Was that mermaids robbing customers of their money? Legally, of course. A trident. Empty wooden box. Rusty oil drums. The mermaid girls are standing around. About my face. Ota told me. Plastic surgery, right? I kind of like this face more than the other one. You're good at your job. Please come again. <laughs> What's your relationship with the girls here? You didn't know? I made lots of friends working here part time. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? <laughs> Excuse me? Ota, you can't just say that. Oda is sitting in front of me. Now that Iris is healthy, he's overjoyed. How have you been? I've been doing good. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor during the day, and writing at night. I might just be the hardest working 20-something in Japan. Uh, I don't know about that. Really, though? I've gotta be, like, in the top three in Tokyo alone. I thought of kicking his ass, but I didn't think it would take. I'm glad you're okay. I'm actually exhausted right now. But I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway, how are you? I guess I'm alright. In your left eye, uh... It's fake. I can't see anything out of it. And it doesn't talk. Huh? I see. So, Aiba? What a tragedy. Creep. A tragedy? Yeah. She was so cute. What a waste. Ah, uh, that's why. If she were real, I would marry her. You would not survive the attempt. What do you mean? Ota, what are you seeing? In front of Iris? Oh, Tessa, I was kidding. It was a joke. It's fine, I don't care. Thank goodness. I don't think that's what she means. <laughs> Shadows. Shadows. Thread, silhouette, ASAP. Fears. Upset, regret, ASAP. Water. Wet, sweat, ASAP. ASAP, you bet. I can't believe you remember that, Uncle. I'm so happy. I said most of it. Let's go. Well, okay. Give me that cream soda. You're going already? I can see you anytime I want, right? At Matsushita Diner? You'll... you'll come? Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome. Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. Notice how much nicer he is to Date now that he knows that he's uh, actually... 
not going to be with Tessa. He's a creep. He's a creep till the end. Good heart, but man, what a creep. Yeah, we're definitely not doing any Shovel Knight tonight. I saw Mizuki when I went to Lemniscate. Because of what happened this morning, Mizuki and I are in something of a cold war. She won't even look at me. We're both stubborn. Neither of us wants to apologize first. Uncle, look! It's a Thyreocephalus Orthodoxus! You too? How do you know this stuff? Ah, oh, that's sad though. A large window. There's an abstract painting look hung up. Looking carefully, I see some letters at the bottom. Fisherman with cormorant and dandelion. Which part is the dandelion and which part is the cormorant? There's an abstract, incomprehensible painting. Company's logo, lemniscate. Oh, it's the, it's the driver. That's you. Moi? I am merely a taxi driver, my good man. Have we met? Well, let me see. Oh, I don't think we've ever crossed paths. I have an excellent memory. I usually remember my customers, but I cannot place your face. Oh, that's right. I look different than I did three months ago. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I have an appointment to wait upon a young celebrity. I was told to wait here. I feel like I've seen him before. Did you want to introduce me? What? Did you forget? You wanted me to meet this table. This track reminds you of, of something out of Phoenix Wright. Yes. Also, there's a new game out called Murder by Numbers, which is like a Picross um, murder mystery game. It's like murder mystery, but the, you put the gameplay in the game is Picross. Um, it's written by Hato Moa, the person who does uh, who did uh, Hato Full Boyfriend. She helped write it. And the music is done by uh, the person that does the music for Phoenix Wright. Very interesting sounding game. I might have to check it out at some point. Three months ago, you asked me to say hello to it, so... I didn't say that. You idiot. Promotional videos of the agent's talent series are playing. That's an old Yankichi Cinema video. Oh, Yankichi Cinema! That's like so rare. Who? How do you all know who that is? Oh, I guess it would have made sense if I had gone to the diner first. Yankichi Cinema's old video was playing. Lots of magazines in that rack. Special The Dark Side of Public Safety. Look at that a read. Love those tapioca balls. That's boba. That's boba. That's the reception desk. There's the receptionist. Huge breasts. I heard a voice say that from deep inside my heart. The big breasted receptionist. Thank you, by the way. Excuse me? You might not remember, but three months ago, I called to ask you about Renju, and you told me about Sunfish Pocket. You really helped me out. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. You want to go to a Tommy with me? A Tommy? Why? Uh, well... I want to rub them. I want to rub them. Oh, I could rub them all day. What? You're too curvy, tight. Oh, my shoulders. Oh my God, thank you. I've had so many knots lately. Perfect timing. Go ahead. I'd love a shoulder rub. I got up and moved behind the receptionist to rub her shoulders, then sat back down. And Mizuki stared at me the whole time. Their icy gaze pierced my very soul. Hold me. Hold me! 
Hold me tight, hold me tight! Oh, my good fellow, feeling a bit worse for wear, are you? Worry not, I shall embrace you. No, not you! Oh, that's how you get out of her. Mizuki looks mad, understandably. Hello? Hello. How are you? Nothing, huh? Yo. Yo. She ignored me with all her might. Yeah. Yeah. I extended my hand like a sword ready to strike. You wanna fight me? She didn't seem to take it as a joke. I better not fight her. I'm gonna get workers comp for that. You ask about Mizuki if she's graduating soon? Uncle wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? Just buy me a new junior high uniform and hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school and a new smartphone and a new iron pipe. That's what she said. You ask Mizuki how she's been. Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together? Of course you don't know. Because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. That's what she said. Can you ask Mizuki why she's here then? Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited daddy's stock at Lemniscape. This is my company now. Isn't it natural that I'd be here? That's what she said. Uh. Can you cut this out already? What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy, and then Date... How can I eat eggs like that? Over easy is fine. Over well. Burn to the pan on the bottom and chewy on top. Why don't you just eat an eraser? An eraser would taste better than what you served. You shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. That's mean. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Why don't you be honest and apologize? Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? When I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. That's what you said. No, I didn't. And you were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. Was I not? Oh, he's remembering the other timeline. What? Wait a minute. What the, what was that memory? Anyway, why don't you just make up already? If Date keeps his promise, I will. Promise? The sushi? You said you would take me. Oh, that. Yeah, uh, not yet. Okay, fine. Soon, okay? You promise? Promise. Go for some sushi now. Maybe I'll get some tomorrow. Good. I'm glad you two are being civil again. Anyway, should we head out, Iris? Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. I don't know why we'd go to the Sajima residence, but okay. Still confused. How much of this did So know? Saw a great trick of making the eggs the other day. Uses sliced onion or bell peppers as a barrier when you cook the egg. Yep, I knew about that. You wind up with eggs that have a bit of something extra as they fuse to the vegetable. It's interesting. I've never tried doing that before. I don't have any peppers that are big enough. I left Iris in the car. I figured that she didn't want to see him. I parked the car a little ways down. She doesn't know why I'm here. I see your face has improved. This one doesn't make me so angry. Because it's not his son's face, I guess. I don't know who told him, but he must know about the switch. What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. Topiary. Pond. Island. Lantern. Tree. Tsujima Residence. Stone. Nothing special over here, it seems. 
So I was feeding the carp as if nothing has ever happened. Why are you here? That's a strange question to ask a man in his own home. I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. Even though we both know you committed a crime. Indeed. 18 years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kubakuras to hide the body. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. I hardly think that is a sin. Fair enough. Are you familiar with Article 105 of the Penal Code? Relatives of those who have committed crimes cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. Is that true? That's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. Yeah, you get the fuck the out of there while you could. already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest of my days in leisure. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. That's none of your concern. Is that all you wanted to ask me? About the chemical plant eight years ago. I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Kawasaki. It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kumakuras at the time. As you know, my son Saito was abnormal with all of the awful things that my son did. I used my money to cover it up, but that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. Dad, I thought of a plan, a foolproof plan to make us rich. The chemical plant explosion. To help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. It was Saito's idea. True. My son was born with an abnormal mind. But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. Ooh. He's a little... he feels a little guilt, huh? Do we really need to watch this again? Also, why is Saito still, like, a blue blob here? As soon as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened in him. In the end, that's what led to his destructive, violent plan. You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. Did you ever meet number 89? By the way, did you ever meet number 89? No, I didn't. Did you ever see his face? No. Why? No reason. Why did you call Shoko's phone? Three months ago, 9.02 p.m. on Friday, Shoko's body was found. So called her burner phone. I asked him why. Do you recall the conversation we had? That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you called her phone? Yes. Why didn't you look for Saito six years ago? Six years ago, my mind was implanted into the body of Saito.
You know, flip phone, most people think it's sort of funny to have one these days. I mean, most carriers don't even work with flip phones anymore, and that's why we got rid of ours. Drip, drip, drip. I lost my memory and ended up wandering the streets until Boss found me. She hired me at Abyss and gave me the name Kaname Date. But so, Saito's father never even put out a missing persons report on his son. Why? Because of the woman you call Boss. Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole thing. You know about the Cyclops serial killings? The culprit is your son, Saito Sejima. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. You give me one thing, and I promise none of this will be released to the public. What is it? Leave Saito with us. Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. Do we have a deal? I didn't have much of a choice, of course. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed and my political career would be over. But how'd you know someone else was in his body? Besides, I never held much love for him in the first place. She was practically doing me a favor. So, of course, I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked quite nicely for me. Why did you... Why did... Uh, I can't say exactly. I don't even know what, what I chose there. Why did eight, number 89 want you to contact Shoko? The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. At the time, Rohan was in the body of number 89. Maybe Rohan realized it was when... It, when ugh, it's three in the morning, I'm very tired. Maybe Rohan realized it when Shoko came to visit the prison. That it was really Saito inside Shoko's body. That's what he meant by realized everything. Rohan needed to speak with Saito again. But he could not. But he couldn't. Not from inside Fuchu prison. Instead, he called up So and had him do it. Maybe he thought he could get Saito to visit again. Go. Well, I'll be seeing you, So. I very much doubt that. Yeah, you're probably right. We parted without saying goodbye. Oh, damn. I left Iris waiting. She might be angry. I gotta get back to her soon. Where should we go next? If we go home, we should probably go to Abyss first. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. About the boss. Boss, you visited me a lot when I was in the hospital, didn't you? You're softer than you look. What do you mean by that? Do I not radiate an aura of gentleness and caring? You literally called me a slave before. But I didn't treat you like a slave. Other than uh. sometimes making you clean my boots with your tongue. You did, Date? I absolutely did not. Bags filled with colorful devices that vibrate. Oh, God. Ma's tombstone. Who is Ma? The entrance. Matryoshka. Iris, would you like to have a Matryoshka of your own? Matryoshka. Oh, sorry. No, we're not allowed to have pets at the house. What? What do you think a Matryoshka is? Matryoshka, not a pet. Hey, boss, can I sit in your chair? No, it's my chair. Wait, why is her chair there and not behind her desk? Iris is smiling happily. A flag with big Where catch on it. That? Oh, you haven't heard? Starting next year, that's going to be the official flag of Japan. 
Wow, really? No. Boss's friend, Mario. That RC car kind of reminds me of Date's car. Hey, Iris. Yeah? What's the deal with you and Date? You still into him? <laughs> no. Volleyball. Volley reminds me of valley, like cleavage. And of course, ball is self-explanatory. Isn't it kind of dirty? No, it isn't. There's nothing dirty about volleyball. Don't get mad at me. There's nothing A.O. about volleyball. Adult only. Hey, Iris. Date was a soccer ball in his past life. That's why he enjoys getting kicked around. I don't enjoy it. It's Tanuki statue. Fun, 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 fun. Fun, poke, fun. All right. Would you two cut it out? Happy birthday. Is it your birthday? No, that's been in here forever. <sighs> Every day is like my birthday. Wow, then you must be really old. Oh. I'm going to take that down. That's Pumpkin. my jack-o'-lantern. What if his name was Bill? Can carve like a jack o' lantern. Bookshelf has a ton of things stuffed on it. Cheer Electronic me on, darts. Okay? Here I go. One, two, three. Throw. Electronic darts game, huh? Police poster. Public bath door curtain. Map on the wall. You still haven't taken down your Christmas tree? Haven't you heard the old saying? If you take down your Christmas tree early. You won't become a bride until late. That's not an old saying. That doesn't even make sense. Aww. Oh, donuts sound good right about now. Oh, me too. Me too. Do you ever throw that thing around at parks? It's not a frisbee. You could kill someone throwing that. No idea you guys had to beat you stealth bombers in here. That's a ruler. A lot of stuff hanging from that coat hanger. Kurunushi. Poor Grandpa Kurunushi. Boss's mental health is still in question. Can I wear that? Don't do it. If you get your blood on it, you'll turn into a vampire. Bora. Hey, look at that bust. Are his lips red? Oh, that's my lipstick. Iris, if you had the ability to stop time, what would you do? Hmm, let me think. I want to catch a skyfish! Dead clock. The battery died in that thing, so the hands have stopped. Boss is sitting on her desk. How are you, by the way? Why are you asking? You see me every day. Are you gonna go to the club later? Interested? But you're still a bit too young. I'll take you when you're older. Promise. He's 18. About six years ago. Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. Uh -huh. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. 
Besides, the sync machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. About Iva. Still thinking about her, huh? No, not exactly. Well, doesn't surprise me. You two were great partners. I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I looked like I do now. I wasn't in Date's body, but Iba still obeyed me. Estimating the Wadget system. Huh? Iba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways, including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite it looking completely different. I think, maybe, she knew your soul, Dante. Heavy. By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. A uh, gift? Close your eyes. I did as I was told, closing my eyes. When suddenly... Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. Uh, what? You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. Why? Shh. Sweet dreams, Date. The fuck? This is the sink room. Pewter? Hmm? It's the inspector I see everywhere. You are... You're Kagami, right? Yes! Yes, you remembered! About my face. I heard. Plastic surgery, right? Must have been a really bad wound to have to remake your old face like that. But it looks like it worked at least. Yeah, my head exploded. Why'd you knock me out to bring me here? That seems like a plot device to me. Sinker's chair, person that does the sinking. Sinker machine. Alright. Peter's standing there. Where's Iris? Don't worry. She's with the boss. She's safe. Why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? Of course not. You should have been arrested three months ago. Peter was working with Renju, or to be precise, Saito inside Renju. He was leaking confidential information to him. Peter also helped Rohan inside the body of number 89 escape. Peter was immediately punished and fired from the force. Yes, I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. Then how are you here? Hmm, I wonder. Don't act dumb. Dante, it's okay! Boss brought him here. She did? Why? She told us not to tell you. Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? Did you sync with me? I did not. But I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. Why am I here? Everything that the boss did, she did for you. I've heard many, many stories with that line Ask in it, her about it. And it's usually never true. 
She truly cares about you. You know, that's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. Now that what's done? Iris, what happened to Boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play! Play? Shovel Forge. No. Didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital today? I did yes, already. Mom. I still have some people to see. But Uncle really wanted to come here. I said no such thing. Come on, don't be shy. There are a lot of things you want to talk about, right? Come on, just do it. But I'm not ready. Of course I want to talk to Hitomi. I want to ask her all about what's happened these past six years. That's not for me to ask. Even showing up here like this isn't right, honestly. Uh, Uncle, you're so shy! Iris is teasing me. Maybe I could use that sometimes. She can help me loosen up some of my rusted screws. Are the flowers still blooming? Yes, they haven't withered at all. Maybe it's a miracle. A small speaker system. I'll shorten it. <laughs> Us must speak, sis. Uncle, what's wrong? Are you thinking about how it looks like a dick again? What, what are you talking about? Yeah, you used to make that joke like all the time. Closely, the one in the middle is it's different. Introduction to tax evasion. There are elementary workbooks and a helpful guidebook on the table. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> you said the same thing six years ago. Probably from my ears as well. Tea is very, very hot. A miraculous winter iris. Nostalgic. Iris, remember six years ago when you put rags in there and they exploded? <laughs> I can't believe you remember that! There are books hidden behind the covered part. I know all about that. six years ago doing the same thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, you saw that. Shoebox has a nostalgic smell. Who cares about me? Talk to her. That's what you came for, right? Iris is smiling happily. Hitomi is still sitting on the sofa. About Iris's recovery. Thank you. This is all thanks to you, Falco. No, I didn't do anything. Also, uh, that name. Oh, sorry, Mr. Date. I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. About Monica and Renju. They were my best friends. We would always go to this little coffee shop after school. They had this old game machine there. It looked like a table, and it was about shooting, invading aliens, or something like that. We talked about all sorts of things sitting there. 
our love lives, our potential careers, things we didn't like about our teachers. It was their idea that I become a teacher, you know? They told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Those were such fun times. How have things been? Things have calmed down, thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. About your right arm. I can't ask her that. I was the one who did that to her. silent, but she must have noticed by my face. If this is about my arm, don't worry about that. You tried to defend me. I know that. Now tell me and Iris know everything that's happened so far. You're too nice, Mom. I will never forgive you. You have to take responsibility. Uh, Iris. No, let me talk. Uncle will be your right arm. That's how he can make it up to you. Maybe not now. It might take some time, but I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right side, and we can go wherever we want. The three of us, to the ocean, a river, an amusement park, barbecues, and we can make okonomiyaki. Where's that hot plate I bought? On the shelf. And I'm gonna need a raincoat. Hey, that's cheating! You're planning on being covered in flour? Of course! That's why it's fun! <laughs> <laughs> Six years ago, I was an assassin. Nothing I could do now will make those crimes disappear. But if I protect them, make sure they're always smiling for the rest of my days, I figure that might be enough to outweigh my sins. Harbor Warehouse District. Oh, God. Nice chop. Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? What do we got in terms of new files right now? Epilogue timing? The epilogue is meant to take place in February, three months after the events of the main game. This would technically mean Falco lost his memory seven years ago. Yet in the epilogue, this still incident is still referred to as having taken place six years ago. Why? Because I used six years ago so often in the game, I thought it would be really confusing if everyone started saying seven years ago. But seriously, in the epilogue, Falco lost his memory six years and three months ago. I decided it would sound too clunky to be that specific, so six years ago is what we went with. Sunpoke. An abbreviation of Sunfish Pocket, the Maid Cafe. There are actually a few species of fish referred to as sunfish, but Sunfish Pocket refers to uh, features the saltwater version. By the way, Sunfish Pocket is an anagram of Spike Chunsoft. The Woman in So Somnium. On day three, D Date and Iba witness a girl being stabbed in the back multiple times in Sosomnium. The assistant, the assailant was Saito, meaning the girl being stabbed was Monica Ewai. But why did she look exactly like Iris? Right before the sink, So was shown a picture of Iris during his interrogation. Iris looked so similar to her mother that the image became stuck in his mind. Hence, Iris showed up in Sosomnium. Mystery of Hitomi's visits to number 89. Hitomi visited Fuchu Prison multiple times to visit Falco, 89. However, Rohan Kumakura was in the body of Falco at the time. Did Rohan tell Hitomi that he was not Falco? Well, of course he did. Of course... He... Well, of course his did at first. He did. I guess they messed that up. Hitomi didn't take it seriously, thinking he was making a story up in an attempt to cut ties with her. She did for doubts, but who would believe that a different person's personality was in his body? Despite repeated attempts, Rohan never convinced Hitomi of his story. As time went by, Rohan gave up trying to explain, figuring that she would never believe him. He decided to live as prisoner number 89 for the rest of his life. Whenever Hitomi came to visit, he would just sit quietly and listen to her. Hitomi eventually stopped bringing up the past entirely and instead talked about recent things that happened in her life. Still don't have everything. Yeah! 
I suggested that we came to the warehouses. I thought it was odd, but I drove her here anyway. Thank you for today. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Is the date finally over? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Not just for today, but for everything. Six years ago, you helped me and my mom, and I'm so grateful for that. Will you close your eyes for me, Uncle? You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, please. Wait, you want me to close my eyes? Do you? And just do it, quick! I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh man, oh no, no way, it's happening. I try to keep my cool. All right. I close my eyes and... Okay, open them! I opened my eyes, and there before me was... I have a... I see Iris' smile against the warm sunset. Scold her, be amazed, stun, cry. A girl standing in front of me. She's... She's... That's what happened back in Abyss. They must have put a new fake eye in his body. Pewter must have done that, and Pewter must have made a new eye eyeball for him. A eyeball. It's the logic system that brought me back to life. That system is responsible for proliferating my data. Logic is like a mother to me, and she protected me as a child. And I am forever grateful to my mother. Never underestimate the power of logic. Why are you here? To be exact, I am not here. You are seeing an augmented reality virtual projection of myself. My physical self is... In my left eye? Yes. How did you get in there? I see you have not become any more astute in my absence. Think carefully. Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Abyss, when I lost consciousness. Yes. Pewter embedded me in your eye socket. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm wearing an earpiece. I can hear Iba too. Huh? I knew the whole time. Boss told me about the plan to restore Iba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so... Is this my thank you? Yeah, but it's not over yet. Huh? You idiot. You idiot, I thought you died. I was worried about you. Pardon? The one who issued the self destruct order. Anyway, I want to know something. The number 41205. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Your favorite number? I see. What is it? Iris, do not tell him. Uncle, think of the alphabet. What's the fourth letter? D. A, D, C, D. It's D. And the first, a. and the twentieth, and the fifth. T and E. <laughs> I see. Anyway. Anyway, um, Iba. Welcome back. Glad to be back. And home. Well, now that Iba has risen from the dead, I think we should celebrate with a dance number! A what? Hit it! Yeah. That's how I figured it would end. Cups 
that are flying on maps mystifying you'll think that i'm hiking this old tale of mine a journey eh, everyone's okay it's fine that's a good ending a permanent fire cold frost on the pie also it is really late I didn't think this would actually take more than three hours to reach this ending. He's just standing there stunned. A punch to the forehead, my kick like a warhead. You're pinned on the floor spread. I'm queen of this crawl, and I'll show you all. I don't want to hide it. That's what I decided. I can't live divided. I know I was wrong. <laughs> oh, this sounds like Kermit when he's singing. How did Iris coordinate all this? What's your thought on the game? Uh, it was interesting. It definitely got really good in the last few hours, I'll say that. These last two streams that I did since I got back, uh... I'm who they say is the best detective Although without me he is ineffective That's it, we're done, I'm walking out of here Did 999 have a dance sequence like this? No, it didn't. <laughs> Don't you have 999? Yeah, this game was good. Um, definitely didn't want to go as late as I did tonight, but it was uh, it was fun. I had a lot of... In I, I got what I wanted out of it in the end. It's on Steam, 999, and PSP, I think? PS4. Of all the minor characters are there too. <laughs> Everyone's there except Pewter. I want to stream the Zero Escape series at some point. I do have it on Steam. The reason you can see me right now is because I'm projecting oh my goodness. a special technology. Oh, that's over that. You call me a bridge one more time! I want to find your body. Oh, I'm shooting Dr. Donnie. I love you. This is Ramama. Sounds fun. Hey, sit! You fit! Very, very silly. I'll say that this definitely kicks the uchikoshiness of, of uh, the, the writing. Thank you for playing. Your eyes have been opened. Yeah, it definitely, uh, it definitely kicks the ridiculousness up to 11. Three months later, Kasai. Resolution route end. Dance has been unlocked in the title menu. Oh, God. So let's just load the uh, entire ending again.
Do you hope it's Pewter and Saito? No. See, Saito wouldn't make any sense. Did we get a dancing minigame? No, it's probably just the ending sequence. I've explained that watch it, sister mother be reborn. I was saying and dance to the others join in, and then the laughter seemed to brighten the sunset itself. Aw. Let's go back here. I want to see if it unlocked the other uh, the remaining few things. I'm not going to do the uh, choices I skipped in the uh, resolution, because it's just like, it's going to be bad endings, and there's no point. That was fun, though. I had a lot of enjoyment. I got a lot of enjoyment out of this game. Uh, I still didn't unlock everything, though. I'm going to have to figure out what those last few, uh, those last six uh, question marks are. Sadly, that'll have to be done elsewhere. Another day, another time. Not on stream. We're done with this game. <laughs> Wait, is it a mini game? Oh, it is. Oh, dance practice mode. Oh, neat. Loads very slowly. Teacups that are flying on maps, Mr. Flying. You'll think that I'm flying. This old tale of mine. Why the marble loses shine? The eye cloud. Sure. Here the image. Pause. Play grand finale. This isn't really a mini game. It's just you just get to watch it. Uh, I'm sure that's a bit. I'm sure that's a lot of fun. But it is 3:40 in the morning. This is like a half hour longer than I wanted to go. Uh, so we're gonna wrap it up here. This was fun. I had a lot of fun playing through this. Um, well, the first few streams were kind of meh, and Insomniums were a little, eh, hit or miss. But, uh, I had a lot of, I, I, like, overall, it was a good game. Not as good as Zero Escape, but I will say it's definitely a great, uh, another great uh, Uchi Koshi game. Anyway, it's time to stop. Uh, so, I mentioned this before, but this is the last night stream. Well, there's going to be no streams at night. Tuesday through Friday from ne for the next two weeks, they're going to be morning streams. I'm taking tomorrow morning off, but then, uh, like, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday I might stream. Uh, I'm probably going to get back to Ring Fit finally, and maybe I'll start Mega Man 11 as well. Um, but we'll see. That'll be Wednesday and later. After the two weeks are up, I'll go back to streaming at night, but I'll also probably still be doing the Ring Fit streams in the morning. Anyway, uh, I appreciate everyone who came out today. Thank you very much. I always, always appreciate it. Y'all have a great night, and I will see you later this week with a new game. Bye-bye.